Hi guys, today I'm going to make a chicken leg out of fondant using my new chicken leg mold. The first thing that you're gonna do if you're gonna go make a chicken leg out of fondant is to get a picture, just print something off the internet, go find something that looks realistic to you, and use that as a reference because you're gonna to have to do something, and I guarantee you that if you don't have a picture, you're gonna make it a weird color and it's gonna look strange and people will look at it and go, ugh. You want people to look at it and think that it's real. So let's get started, and I have a few different colors of font in here to set up, and I'll show you how I'm gonna mix them up. All right, so the first thing I wanted to do is, you know, obviously you have to get the right color. So I'm looking at this, and it's very orange, and I was thinking for some reason that it was gonna be more, I don't even know, like more yellow and brown, I don't know, but it's very orange. So this is orange, brown, and yellow. And I think I'm gonna start out I mean, based on this picture, if you look at this, there's a lot of, like the lighter color is more yellow, and then there's orange, and then the darker color is brown. So I think I might actually just put a little bit of brown in it, and then I'll dust the detail color, like for the shadows and stuff, with some petal dust once I get it all set up. So I'm going to make this mostly orange and yellow with a little bit of brown. So let's get started mixing. So here's the picture, and here's the color that I came up with. It's pretty close. I think that the, it could be a little yellower. You know, there's a lot of, the highlights on here are kind of more yellow, but I can do that with the petal dust. So I can do that and make some darker places. I ended up using less orange than I thought. Red is a very strong color, and as we know, red and yellow make orange, so you have to be careful, and I just use a little too much. So I pulled a whole piece of that off. I mixed the orange with the yellow first, then pulled the piece off, and then added some brown to it to make it this color. So once you get the color just for the base kind of overall concept correct, then you're going to mold it. I'm going to put it in here and see what happens. If you're using a, a stiff, like something that hardens up like resin or polymer clay, you might need to use a release agent with this because it's a deep mold. And I did tear this when I was taking the resin piece that I made to make the rest of the molds out of it. I tore the mold and it just ripped. So you have to be careful when a mold is deep because if you pull it too far, it can, it can rip. Anything can tear. Really press this in. So if you're using a soft material, put it in the freezer and let it harden up. And then we can start painting it once it comes out. So this has been in the freezer for a while. It's nice and hard. It's not, it doesn't look oily and I can tap it. It feels pretty solid. So I'm gonna carefully pull it back from the sides. You don't wanna like really grab it and yank it because that is gonna tear the mold. But once you have it released from the sides, kind of all the way around, you should just be able to push it out. Wow, that came out real easy. There's the chicken leg. Wow, that, that looks really that looks really good. I'm, I'm pleased with my chicken leg. I like it. As long as you get the color right, you don't have to really do anything else to it. So give this video a like, subscribe to my channel, because I am going to be posting more cake decorating videos and product demos coming up. And if you have any questions about this, please post them in the comments. I will post a link to the chicken leg mold, but it's going to be available on my website so you can get it there. And I will talk to you guys later.